Hello dear students welcome back to your channel I love pharmacology in today's session let us learn about the muscarinic actions which are mediated on I so overview of the muscarinic actions on I so let us see the examples next we'll see the actions mediated by muscarinic drugs on I mechanism of action ADME that is absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion, clinical uses of muscarinic agent on eye as well as the adverse effects which are mediated by muscarinic agonists. So coming to the muscarinics on eye, so the examples for drugs which are acting through muscarinic mediated receptors on the eye are pilocarpin and Sevi melin. Please remember pilocarpin and sevi melin are the muscarinic receptor agonist. Next, we will see the actions which are mediated by muscarinic receptors on the eye. So, these are the drugs which are called as muscarinic receptor agonist. So, basically, they have action similar to that of the parasympathomimetics. So, that's why these muscarinic receptor agonists will have a parasympathomimetic actions. So basically it will going to contract the smooth muscles. So where do they contract? They contract the smooth muscles which are present in the gut, urinary bladder as well as in the pupil. And also they decreases the heart rate as well as they decreases the force of contraction. In addition, these muscarinic receptor agonists will also increase the glandular secretion. So it can increase the secretion of salivary, sweat gland as well as in the gastric glands. It also inhibits the neurotransmitter release. So just to recapitulate, so the muscarinic receptor agonist will have action similar to that of the parasympathomimetic action which will going to contract the smooth muscles, decreases the heart rate as well as the force of contraction, increases the glandular secretion and inhibits the neurotransmitter release. Next moving on to the mechanism of action of muscarinic receptors on the eye. So whenever we talk about the action in glaucoma, so these muscarinic agonists will interact with the M3 receptor. So muscarinic subtype 3 receptors will be activated. So by interacting with the M3 receptor, which is basically coupled to GQ coupled G protein receptors. So thereby they are going to increase the cellular levels. Please remember by interacting with the M3 receptor, they are going to increase the cellular levels of inositol triphosphate as well as the diazyl glycerol concentration. So this rise in this concentration will lead to contraction of the contraction of which pupillary muscles it will lead to contraction of the circular muscles of the iris thereby it causes the constriction of the pupil so thereby what happens to the angle angle will be widened due to the constriction of the pupil and it will helps in drainage of the aqueous humor thereby finally you're going to lower the intraocular pressure thereby it will be very useful in the treatment of glaucoma. So please remember whenever we ask about the muscarinic receptor action on the eye, especially in treating the glaucoma, so these muscarinic agonists will interact with the M3 receptor, M3 receptor and next they are going to increase the cellular levels of IP3 and DAG concentration which will in turn lead to contraction of the circular muscle fibers of the iris on the circular muscles of the iris there is a presence of the m3 receptor so thereby so in the previous slide we talked about what is the action of this muscarinic receptors on the smooth muscle it will going to contract the smooth muscles so here similarly it will going to contract the smooth muscles of the circular muscles of the iris thereby it lead to contraction of that muscle leading to constriction of pupil thereby it widens the Aerodocorneal angle leading to 
drainage of the aqueous humor which finally leads to lowering of intraocular pressure next coming to the adme that is absorption distribution metabolism and excretion so whenever we use these drugs in glaucoma pilocorpin is used it is used in the form of eye drops and the action of pilocorpin will last for a day and this pilocorpin can be used in the form of slow drug delivery system which is usually placed under the eyelids and this type of slow drug delivery system can act for a several days several days so one of the name which has given to the slow drug delivery system which delivers the pilocarpin is the acucet next for the dry mouth we use pilocarpin as well as sevimelin please remember remember sevimelin is also a pilocarpin receptor agonist so these are available in the form of tablets which are to be taken three times a daily in dry mouth patients next coming the clinical uses of muscarinic receptors so they are used in the treatment of glaucoma both in narrow as well as wide angle glaucoma so what are, what is the mechanism here they are going to decrease the intraocular pressure by increasing the aqueous drainage aqueous humor drainage due to the widening of the iridocorneal angle due to the constriction of the pupil and they are also useful in the dry mouth due to poor salivary gland function so as you saw it will increases the glandular secretion so in the glands also there is m3 receptors activation of m3 receptors will lead to increased glandular activity that will be helpful in case of dry mouth one such condition is the jogran syndrome so two uses of muscarinic receptors agonist or two uses of pilocarpin is glaucoma as well as dry mouth next coming to the adverse effects mediated by the muscarinic receptors so this muscarinic receptor agonist can lead to blurring of the vision due to the contraction of the ciliary muscles even on the ciliary muscles you have a m3 receptors contraction of this muscle can lead to blurring of the vision and since you'll be using the muscarinic receptor agonist in the form of topical route through such route there is a limited systemic absorption thereby it leads to very few adverse effects whereas in case of if these drugs are given in the oral formulation so these formulations can increase the gastrointestinal activity that is they are going to increase the gastrointestinal secretions as well as they are going to cause sweating due to increased glandular activity so coming to the summary of the muscarinic receptor agonist which are mediating the action on the eye so the example you should remember is the pilocarpin and the sevimelin so the actions which are mediated by muscarinic receptor agonist is the parasympathomimetic action where they are going to contract the smooth muscles they are going to decrease the heart rate as well as force of contraction they are going to increase the glandular secretion as well as they inhibit the neurotransmitter activity so what is the mechanism of action in case of glaucoma they act on the m3 receptor which is present on the present on the constrictors so which constrictors in the circular muscles of the iris so this m3 receptor is present in the circular muscles of the iris activation of this m3 receptor will lead to contraction of the circular muscle fibers of the iris leading to constriction of the pupil the pupillary diameter will decrease thereby there will be widening of the iridocorneal angle thereby you will going to aid or help in drainage of the aqueous humor thereby you decrease the intraocular pressure which will be very helpful in case of glaucoma so what is the adme important here so pilocarpin is used in the form of slow drug, drug delivery system which is placed under the eyelid which is also called as acucet which will be having action for more than or up to 7 days and where are these muscarinic receptor agonist that is pilocarpin is used they are used in the treatment of glaucoma both narrow as well as wide angle glaucoma as well as in the dry mouth example is jogran syndrome so usually adverse effects can be due to activation of m3 receptors on the ciliary muscles leading to blurring of vision 
and systemically since if you are using it to topical route the adverse effects are very less due to the poor systemic absorption but if you are using through a in the form of oral route in the form of tablets it can lead to gastrointestinal activity as well as sweating so this was all about the muscarinic receptor agonist and their action on eye so if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel hilo pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology thank you